This is In The Dugout with Dave Besson. Um, as a player, I think my proudest moment actually speaks for itself is uh, winning the FA Cup with Wimbledon. Um, you know, with, with such an unfashionable club um, and no one was expecting it. It was the last thing I was ever expecting when I was playing. You know, when I signed professional at Wimbledon in the fourth division was to, to be playing in the cup final nine years later. And I think that the fact that the journey we'd been on uh, to get to that cup final makes it even more special and, and memorable. Well, again, we go to, to important saves and you know, we don't get much more important than saving one in the cup final. Um, that's the one any, anyone and everyone remembers. But personally, you know, there's saves that people won't remember at all. And I, I can recall making one at, at Luton Town and it was on the old AstroTurf, um, which makes it a bit more difficult, the fact that you know, there's not much grip on, on that tough surface when you're wearing the, uh, the pimple-soled AstroTurf boots. Um, but yeah, it was, it was just a save that you know, my body weight was going one way, it got deflected and, and was looping over the top of me and I managed to, to readjust my body and make the save. But you know, people just won't remember that type of save. It wasn't, it wasn't that important. Um, you look at someone with, it, with it unbelievable ability and it was, it was Matt Latiz. Um, Matthew Latiz here at Southampton. Unbelievable ability, he could do anything. Sometimes you might question his desire you know, whether he really wanted it enough. I think he's fitter now than he was when he was playing because uh, he does run and he said he just hated being told to run by, by coaches and now he has to do it and he, he's telling himself to do it so he doesn't mind doing it. When I was, when I was at school, my, my position was, was striker. I was prolific. <laughs> I was, you know, I used to score loads of goals and then it only got to the stage when 16 I stayed on to the sixth form and, and our goalkeeper had gone through all the years he left and we had no goalkeeper and I used to mess around in goal so I went in goal at 16 and, and that's it that's the, the history speaks for itself away from the training ground I love a game of golf it's uh, an area which has um, not got so much practice of, of late since I've come to Reading although the gaffer loves a game of golf and Kev um, we're spending a lot of time down here at the training ground and, and if the rewards as we're getting at the moment, I'll settle for that. I'll settle for my golf going a bit wonky. I played, I played with Lee Westwood, but we didn't play golf. We played football. We wanted to, he was a Forest fan and he wanted to come and take some penalties against me. So I'm waiting for him to, to re return the invite, you know, for me on the golf course. I'm, I'm trying to get one of these days down at Wentworth where they have the pro celebrity type of thing. So, and I, and I know I, I actually done um, the question of sport mystery guest with Ian Poulter for a Christmas special. So I, I look at Pulse and I know the two of them. They're in my phone book anyway, those two. <laughs> I, yes, I'd done an initiation song and unfortunately we was, um, we was on a boat in Thailand and most of the new boys managed to get theirs out and um, yeah, mine was, was a, an all-time classic which I thought the boys might know but obviously the, the age gulf might show a little bit and it was a, a Tom Jones number and it was Delilah hoping to get them singing along so I, I gave them a, a, a blasting, you know, Delilah. Lads will, will cane me with saying that mine, mine will be Frank Sinatra and that type of stuff, but I listen to, to all types of music. Um, Chris Gunter is uh, my DJ for the dressing room because he puts on some, some music which I like, which is a lot of, you know, is, is uh, hip hop. Um, you know, I'm not too much into the garage stuff, but I go from, from Dean Martin to 50 Cent and there's probably some modern day ones that I don't even know the names of. I suppose it'd have to be, I mean, Danny, Danny would be a bit fierce for me, I think. <laughs> uh, I, I know that I'll get a little bit of stick because I'm, I'm, you know, as a goalkeeper, I think you have to be a bit, um, a bit bold. Um, but Danny, again, Danny's got some rascal gear. You know, it is, it is rascal. Um, you know, probably only me and him would carry it off. <laughs> <laughs>